Hello everyone, it's Dana and I'm in Oxford again. This is my second video and it's about a research centre. I chose this building because its design is very well considered and it's got a very impressive staircase. Yella? <laughs> my friend Mirveya is with me today. We're going to explore the ORCRB together. Shut up. <laughs> Background information. The Old Road Campus Research Building was designed by MAKE Architects and completed in 2007. It has many unique design features inside the building, but we're going to start from the exterior. Sunlight and louvers. The facade is made of glass, aluminum panels and louvers placed differently on each side. Because the sun path moves from east to west, the south facing side gets more sunlight and that's why it has more louvers, while the east facing side gets less light and that's why it has more glass. The building is covered with green panels using different shades of green, except for the entrance which is clearly identified using red panels. Design for collaboration. The ORCRB groups together many research facilities in one building. It's designed to encourage different departments to communicate with each other and to collaborate, and it has two main atriums to serve this purpose. The cafe you see here is in the entrance atrium. Hello. <laughs> a flexible plan. Lab spaces and office spaces are organized on a 6.6 .6 meter square grid, which makes the spaces standardized and flexible and that means spaces can be easily changed if needed. The main centerpieces of the plan are the atriums. There are offices, labs and mixed-use spaces surrounding the atriums and moving between them is easy. And that's to facilitate collaboration and flexibility, which are the main parts of the design brief. Colors. When you first enter the building, you immediately sense a huge contrast between the colored panels that seem to be very lightweight on the outside and the heavy gray concrete on the inside. Then once you reach the second atrium, you notice another contrast. Despite the prevailing exposed grey concrete, it's really colourful. Each landing in this atrium is marked with a different coloured wall, and every wall has a painting of a plant used to treat cancer. Jinko Biloba, I know that plant! This atrium is surrounded by labs and offices, but the thing that brings it all together is the concrete staircase. The staircase is one of the main features of this building. A concrete ribbon stretches out from the ground floor, twists around forming the stairs, and then continues to wrap around the sides of the upper floors. You can see a simple horizontal line going across the entire ribbon, which to me is a very elegant way of exhibiting the concrete. The staircase has many elements besides the concrete. Stainless steel handrails, lights on the inner sides, and my favorite part, the soffit. The soffit, also known as the boring underside of a structure that nobody looks at. But in this case, they used orange fabric panels, which are sound absorbing, that combine all the colors of the floors. The fabric gives life to the soffit, the soffit gives life to the stairs, and the stairs give life to the entire building. Perfect harmony. The best compliment I read about this building was by one of its users who said they prefer to use the stairs instead of taking the elevator. Final conclusion. The project from design conception to its final completion took only 29 months, which is a record for something of this scale in the UK. They didn't just create a very practical space for research, they also made sure the design really makes people enjoy working here. This building is a really good example of bringing design and practicality together. I've got teeth in specially. I've got teeth in specially. I've got teeth in specially. I've got teeth in specially.